Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. So last video we have seen the condition code or status register where it is a collection of various conditions, um, various bits are there as an indicator of various conditions that may occur after one instruction is executed. And the example we have seen for carry, overflow, sign, sign or negative flag and another one more we have seen carry flag, right? and zero flag also. So those things we have seen and in the last video we were discussing that when that uh, overflow situation occurs. So the overflow situation occurs when we are adding two numbers of the same sign that I have already explained and how can we conclude that there is a overflow? We can conclude that there is a overflow when we are adding two positive now sorry two positive numbers and we are getting one negative result. That means it is a wrong result. And if we are adding two negative numbers and we are getting one positive result, that is an indicator of an overflow. So what does it mean? It means that whenever the sign of the resultant is not matching with the sign of your inputs and both the inputs are of the same sign, then it is an indication that there is an overflow. So see both are positive but my result is negative. That means the sign of my result is not matching with the signs of my inputs, my operands. Then it is a overflow condition, right? So this already we have, we are talking in our last video. So in, when both the operands are of the same sign, overflow can occur when the sign of the result S is not matching with the signs of X and Y. And another one is, please understand that carry is not a sufficient indicator, right? Carry occurs whenever there is a, uh, what is that? When Whenever there is a carry out of your MSB addition. Here some bit pattern is there, something is there. Then whenever we are adding this MSB, most significant bit, and there is a carry out of it, then only carry flag will be one, right? And when overflow will occur, Overflow will occur when the both the inputs are of the same sign but the sign of my resultant is different then it is a overflow situation. So this is one common question overflow versus carry because sometimes people think that there is carry means it is overflow because it is more than the size of the resultant so it is also termed as overflow but it is not like that. Hope by now this point is clear. Now we will see one example quickly. So let's say we will Again, we know that overflow can occur only when we are adding two numbers of the same sign, right? Whenever they are of different sign, do not look about your overflow flag. Directly say that it will not occur. But whenever I am doing a two positive number addition or two negative number addition, then there may be, right? So plus seven plus four, right? I will be using your four bits. So plus seven, how to represent in two's complement form? Positive number simply write the binary of it, right? So 0, 1 is the binary of plus 7, right? And in 4 bits. The next one is plus 4 in 4 bits, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? So this is known to us. Now we need to do the addition. So simply we'll add them. We are going to add. So when we'll add them, then first one will be 1, then it is 1, this 1, 1, 1, is what? 2. 2 means 1, 0. 2 means 1, 0. So this is 0 and 1 is carryover. So this 3, 1, 0, 0 will produce what? 1. Right? So what is my result? 1, 0, 1, 1. So see, in this result, you can make out the result sign is not matching with the sign of its input. Both the uh, operands where you are positive. Right? Whereas your result you got is negative. That means it is an overflow situation, right? So, but how do you tell the answer? What is the answer of this? What is this 1011, right? Please remember that we are following two's complement numbers, right? Uh, in, in two's complement form, we are taking our inputs. So my result is also in two's complement form. I have added them and result is also in two's complement form. So whenever your result in two's complement form Having the MSB as 1, you directly understand that it is a negative value, right? 
then what is that value second point is what is that value looking at this one you put this minus sign here now you need to tell that what is the magnitude of that negative number so how can i find out the value we will take the two's complement of this binary combination so what is the two's complement of this this one will directly come we'll start from the left hand side till we get the first one in the beginning only i got the one so i'll put it here and all the remaining bits these bits will be flipped so it is 0 1 0 right so what is the decimal of this binary bit combination it is 1 it is 4 so 1 plus 4 is 5 so what is this is representing it is representing what minus 5 that means after adding plus 7 plus 7 and plus 4 what we are getting is we are getting answer as minus 5 obviously this is not a correct answer this we can see but how my computer will understand computer will see the result msb of my resultant if it is not similar to that of my inputs msb that means it is a wrong result and it is a overflow condition so overflow flag value will be set to 1 automatically understand so whatever i have explained again it is there in the slide as the numbers are represented in two's complement form the sign bit is 1 hence the result is a negative quantity that you need to conclude in the beginning and to get the magnitude take the two's complement of the result that means take the two's complement of this so what is the two's complement of it it will be 0 10 and what is the decimal of it 5 right so your result is minus 5 this we have understood so this is an incorrect result so see why it is an incorrect result see we can make out 7 plus 4 is going to give you 11 and what we have seen using four bits how uh, what is the range of numbers we can represent we can represent from minus 8 till plus 7 using four bits in my last video we have seen that table using four bits this is the possible range of numbers we can represent what was that 2 to the power n minus 1 negative till what positive side 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so what is n 4 So this two to the power three is eight. Two to the power three is eight minus one is seven. So this is the range of numbers we can represent. But whereas we know that seven plus four is going to give me eleven. Eleven will not be able to represent using four bits, right? In two's complement form. So um, because of that, we are getting this overflow because the uh, size of my result is greater than the the uh, placeholder my placeholder is of 4 bits but the size the size of my result is of 5 bits due to this this overflow condition is occurring so this we have written so the addition of this and this is generating overflow condition as the result is outside the range of values that can be represented using 4 bits 11 we cannot represent using 4 bits so this is due to that overflow is occurring so see what is more important in this example is there was no carry in your addition process you see there was no carry but then also there is an overflow right so carry is not a sufficient condition to conclude that there is a overflow right we'll see one more example this we have seen for two positive numbers next we'll do the same thing for two negative numbers so say a negative numbers we have taken minus 4 minus 6 using four bits only so first we need to find out how to represent minus 4 in two's complement form so how it was done first write the binary of 4 in four bits so what is the binary of 4 it is like this then take the two's complement of it what is the two's complement of it 0 0 1 1 this is your minus 4 right so this is your minus 4 then how i can get minus 6 i need to write the binary of 6 what is the binary of 6 2 plus 4 is giving me 6 i was telling you in my last video also any number given to you you express it in powers of 2 right powers of 2 so 6 is what 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 so 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 1 right all other bit positions will be 0 so it is 0 1 1 0 right this is plus 6 then take the two's complement of it so what it will be 0 1 this bit will be flipped so this is your minus 6 so minus 6 in binary is like this and this is minus 4 we have seen now you 
proceed with the addition process. So minus four is one 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 zero zero and minus six is one zero one zero. How I got this already explained. Now we'll do the addition. So when you do the addition, zero zero will zero. This first will give you zero, then one, then one. One and one will add will give you zero. This one is a carry and this will be discarded. So what is your result? Zero one one zero. You can see that we know that in case of two's complement number system, your whenever you do addition, if there is a carry out of MSB, that will be discarded. But here my carry flag will be one, no doubt about that. But what is your result? Zero one one zero is your result. What is your MSB? Zero. That means what? It is a positive quantity, right? Whereas your inputs were all negative quantities. So whenever I am adding two negative numbers and I am arriving at a positive result, obviously it is indicating a overflow condition, right? So whatever I said, see the result carry out will be discarded, right? How to interpret the result? Okay, how to interpret a result? The result is positive. For positive result, do I need to take two's complement of my combination? Not at all. Directly tell the decimal of your binary combination. So my binary combination is coming as zero one one zero. Simply, I need to convert this into decimal. So it is nothing but two to the power what? One. Two to the power two. It is what? Six. So result is plus six, right? So result is your nothing but plus six. See? You will write the decimal of it, and the sign is zero. Sign bit is zero. That means it is a positive quantity. So the result is plus six. So minus four plus minus four plus minus six is giving you plus six. What does it mean? Two negative quantities we are adding, and we are getting a positive result. So this is obviously a uh, overflow condition. Why this overflow has happened? Because minus four minus six will give you what? Minus ten. That is also not possible to represent using four bits. In four bit, the least value is minus eight. So I cannot go to minus ten. That means whatever result is coming, that is out of my uh, that size of my resultant. That is four bits. So due to that, this overflow is happening, right? So we because for minus ten, we require five bits, whereas we are using four bits to represent our operands. So here minus four minus six is generating overflow. The result is outside that can be represented using four bits. However, this time carry is generated out of MSB addition, which is not part of my result. But in this case, if suppose you are asked to perform this addition, and after that addition process, what is the value of carry flag? Your answer will be one. What is the value of uh, overflow flag? The, your answer will be also one. What is the value of zero flag? Your answer should be zero because your result is not zero. You can see that, right? And what was another flag we were looking at? Sign flag, na? So, sign of the number. Sign of the result is what? Positive. This is zero. So it is sign of the number is positive. So this bit will be zero. Hope this example is clear. So next one, one more example is there. This example. See, these two binary bit patterns are given to us. We need to perform the addition process. Directly the numbers are given. You can understand both the numbers are negative, right? Both the numbers are negative. MSB are one one. So simply do the addition. Zero one. First will zero one. Then zero one one. Uh, then zero zero. Then one. And last one will be one. See, this is your result, right? So this one is your outgoing bit, right? This is not part of your result. So this uh, this one will generate what? Carry flag equal to one. But is there is an overflow? Is there is an overflow? These both are one. Your result sign is also one. So overflow is overflow flag will be zero. So carry flag will be one. Zero flag will be zero because result is not zero. Negative flag will be one because the result is negative, and the overflow flag will be zero. Overflow flag. Someone used to write as zero. Some people used to write V also. So in this video, I'll discuss up to here. Hope you are getting from my explanations. And if you are liking my videos, then do like my videos and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.